This is Jerry from Adventures Jerry Land. Today we're going to learn how to use a charcoal chimney starter. Now for people out there like me, you may not want to use any lighter fluid because then it gives you that lighter fluid taste and it just, I don't know, just overbearing uh, the flavor. Um, I think it's more natural and green and I think it's also quicker. So let's, let's show you what you need. Okay, we have a charcoal chimney starter and there's a bottom here and it's probably from here up that's empty and it's got holes for ventilation. So you put paper or whatever, uh, newspaper, whatever you need in there. But what I decided to do was use some of the cardboard from the inside of the toilet tissue and from the uh, um, paper to toilet tissue. So what you do, is you don't really pack it in there tight or anything. It's like real loose, you know, because there's you need airflow. And then this is the inside. And what I do is just set it right on top of the grill, and then we'll light it up. And I usually start a couple different places. That way it just has a better chance of uh, starting. Now what that does is it gets that fire going and then you're going to pull... Uh, pull <laughs> Then you're going to pour in your charcoal. Okay, so we got fire. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just using my little Weber grill. And I like Kingsford. And another trick like I do on the inside, take another and I double stuff it, maybe triple. Put it in the bottom. And you're just going to pour the charcoal. I'm going to scoop back a little bit because this is starting to get hot. It's a pretty hot day here in Indiana, so I'm under our carport with plenty of shade. What I did earlier was I took a paper towel and take some vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil you have, and then you'll, you know, wet your paper towel. And what you'll do is you'll go across the grill. Well, first, let's back up. I took that first grill off and I cleaned it. And then you want to oil it. And that's when you get your oil, get the paper towel, and then you just wipe over the grid. You get it nice and lubed up, oiled up, however you want to say it. So that way your food doesn't stick. Now, I know a lot of times people are like, I want a quick. I want to quick and get it started. And they, they're they just so quick to use that lighter fluid. But I say, hold on, just wait. Your food is going to taste so much better if you would just use this. And if you haven't, if you haven't bought one, you know, they're pretty cheap. 
I think I got this under 20 bucks. It's a charcoal chimney starter. And again, I think it's 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 worth it's worth its weight in gold when it comes to charcoal. Now I know a lot of times people want to use a gas grill. Nothing wrong with that. I have a gas grill and there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes you just want that good old charcoal flavor. Now on today's menu, I've got some uh, chicken breast marinating, marinating. And of course you can't have a barbecue without having some hot dogs. So I've got some hot dogs to go along with that. It's gonna be delicious. I've got some uh, baked beans in the oven, just like on real slow. I got it on like uh, 300. And um, let's see. Oh, I took a like a round little cake pan and I lined it with foil and then I cut some onions and then I put the onions in the foil and then I just drizzled a little uh, olive oil and uh, some seasoning salt and um, uh, what else? Oh, some lemon black pepper. And um, I closed up the foil and so that way the onions can steam so we can have some onions for the hot dog or if you want some onions on the side you know what have you so we've got chicken we've got hot dogs and baked beans and if I have baked beans I've got to have um, some potato chips so that way sometimes I want to I like the saltiness of the chip mixed in with the baked beans now on these uh, charcoal brick briquettes you want to wait until those turn gray and again this is such a better alternative than just like I said a quick light with a lighter fluid you get the big poof of fire you get your charcoal burning but here we don't use any lighter fluid we always use the charcoal chimney starter unless we decide to use the uh, the um, gas grill and you know what I bought my husband that gas grill years ago and I haven't used it or him. He hasn't used it. Oh my. I can't even tell you how long. It's been it's been a long time. At least a good five, six years. So this is gonna go, depending on how much charcoal you put in here, good ten to fifteen minutes. So we're just gonna let that go. And I'm going to tidy up what we have. Again, whatever you'd like to use, use that. But me, I like my Kingsford. Kingsford. So again, you know, I guess demonstration purposes is a lot easier. If you just pour some of that oil and you just go over your grill and that keeps from the food sticking, which I've already did, so we're good for that, but just for demonstration purposes. We're going to let that time lapse go so you can see that. And I am going to take some of this stuff back in the house. And we'll check back here in about 10, 15 minutes. you what I got so far. I always use two different kind of tongs. Hey, how you doing? And one for raw meat and then one for the cook. So what I have here 
is I have chicken breast that's been marinating. I ran out of the, the gallon bags. So I put them in these little quart ones. And if you want your food to come out good, you're gonna want your chicken, your meat, to be almost room temperature. Reason being, you don't want to put ice cold from the refrigerator meat on a hot grill. It's gonna cook uneven. It's not, whoop, it's not gonna be right. Oh, that didn't work. That was too heavy. All right, back to the chicken. You want to make sure that your chicken, your meat, whatever you're cooking is at room temperature. Let it sit out for like 15, 20 minutes. Reason being, you don't want to put ice cold out of the fridge, cold meat onto a hot grill. You don't want to do that because then your meat is uh, cooking unevenly and you don't want that. So, Again, this takes like 15, 20 minutes, depending how much charcoal you have, to get these uh, charcoals going, these briquettes. And once those are lit, then you can put, you know, you can pour it down there and start your grilling. But again, I would take them out just about this time. Like it's getting pretty hot in there. We're doing, we're doing good. Now the reason why I didn't put this charcoal chimney down on the bottom crate, because I want a good airflow. I want to be able, if you can see, there's still a flame going, which is getting these charcoals hot. See, the charcoal is all gray. So without you know, you don't want to touch it with your hand. Lift up the crate. And just pour in the charcoal crystal. Put your crate back on. There you go. Put that to the side. So now, we want to add our food. Remember, you want to use two different tongs. One for your raw meat, one for your cooked meat. We're all ready to go. Grill nice and hot. I don't know if you can hear that sizzle. Don't you just love that sound? Two more. Hopefully this will fit. Ooh, we got a big one. And then the last one. Now once you have your meat on there, obviously you don't want to move it. You want to go ahead and cover it. I'm going to leave the holes like halfway. Today's drink of choice, we're going to go with the lemonade, Minute Maid. All right, we got the dishes cleaned up and caught up. Got some hot dogs.
Okay, we're going to see if we can flip. If we can flip these uh, chicken breasts yet. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I am going to kind of scoop some of this charcoal. So, it can get hot over here too. And we'll just check back with that. Not quite time to put the dogs on yet. Now, make sure you want to keep this, because this can still be hot. You want to set this off to the side, away from anything that's flammable. What I bought was a cookie sheet with some foil. And so while the hot dogs are cooking, and since I got my baked beans on low in the oven, I had it at 300, then I knocked it down to 250. See that? You know, you could put these and cut these in strips and put them in a salad to make a sandwich. So many different things you can do. Chicken needs a little bit more. Let's set that off to the side. Got room to put my hot dogs on. We're going to come back, give that a flip or so, and hopefully we can wrap this up and we can get to eating. And we're back. 
let's see how this chicken's looking. See, that chicken's ready to come off. There you go. So we'll just cover that up. We're going to put that back in the oven just to keep it warm until it's time to eat. And we're going to check on these hot dogs. Oh, that's some goodness right there. Bring it. Whoa, we almost lost one. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I'm just kind of moving a little closer. Cover them back up. We're going to go put this chicken in the oven at 250 just to keep it warm. Well that's cooking I wanted to show you my baked beans. Oop. Hold that from the bottom. Stir them up a little bit. These are done. These have been slow cooking in the oven. And I wanted to show you what I did. With the onions. You see that? So I cut some onions, put a little seasoning in there. And so we can top that onions on top of the hot dogs. So these onions and the baked beans are done. I'm going to take these back in the house, and then hopefully our dogs will be here, ready to eat. Alright, we're going to see how these hot dogs look.
these hot dogs. Just a few more minutes. Let's say these hot dogs are done. Oh yeah. Just because I don't like to do a lot of dishes, I just laid uh, the plate down with some wax paper. I don't know about you. Yum, yum. We're just going to let that burn out and eat what's on there. And we're going to move this show inside. Oh, I guess I should. I got this set up. chicken and a couple dogs. We're gonna do no buns today because the girl's watching the figure and I got chips. So if I have baked beans, I've gotta have the chips. Alright, I've been waiting to cut into this chicken. I just put a little drizzle of ketchup and you get first bite. Take these onions, drizzle over the hot dog. There you go. What do they call it? A poor man's steak? No, that's bologna. All right. Mmm. Ooh, that went down the wrong way. And people said that. Does it really go down the wrong way? All right. Another bite. Onions. A little uh, mustard, a little ketchup. Mmm. And are you like me? You gotta have. You got the saltiness of the chip, and then the baked bean. Baked bean look, looks pretty good. Mmm. I never have to add sugar. The brain I bites really good. Now this one chicken breast, this was a lot thinner. That one I could have probably took it off a little sooner. But it's still good. Mm. Fight for you.
a lot of times people cook the hot dogs and they forget about the onions. Now, I don't normally like raw onions on my hot dog, but I do like um, onions that are cooked. It just takes the hot dog to a different level when you add an onion. Mm-mm-mm. I hope all is well with everyone. Summer. Officially, it's not summer yet. I think June 22nd. We're still in the first week of June. But it certainly feels like it. This came out pretty good. So what's probably missing is some potato salad, some kind of vegetable. Mmm. Potato. Vegetable. Mmm. What are you guys making today? Have you got your grill out? And the rest of these hot dogs and onion. This table is so low. I'm gonna see it better up here. Last bite of chicken. Mmm. That is good. I guess if you didn't have a picnic table, this is how you would probably eat anyway. Having your plate up. I don't know why I do that. Put in the comments below. Do you do like me and put the plate up to your face? I don't want to drop nothing. And I mean outside. In my quick set tip. Boy, these baked beans are so good. Maybe I should have just had one hot dog, but I'm committed. So we're gonna power, <laughs> power through two <laughs> two dogs. You know, not using lighter fluid made this taste so much better. Who wants to eat any food that tastes like lighter fluid? I know it takes a couple extra minutes. Oh, excuse me. This is so worth it. No lighter fluid.
right, where'd the time go? I got three more bites of hot dog. Am I eating that fast? You know what would have been good? If I had steak. No steak today. Right ratio of beans and chips. I feel like I'm a little lopsided. That was so good. Guess what I have in the fridge? A pie. It's the second pie I had made in two weeks. I am going to step away for a second, take my plate, and I'm going to go get some pie because I still want to talk. So give me just a moment. I go do that and I'll be right back a cookout isn't complete unless you have dessert here we go chocolate cream pie on slow-mo 
slow motion. I left the last slice for the hubby. First bite for you. Mmm. Usually I wait a little bit, but let's pretend we did. Let's pretend we wait a half hour or so for dessert. Mm. If you made it this far, put a pie emoji <laughs> in the comments. While you're here, like, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share. I don't mind sharing my goofiness. Of course, this pie has nothing to do with cooking, but we just had a meal together, and now we're just talking over dessert. Mmm. I just hit another milestone. 50,000 views. I wish they were subscribers. One day, I'm still trying to get to my first 200. So if you haven't already, subscribe. This is season two, starting off strong of having a nice little meal. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching me to get to 50,000 views. You are all so awesome. This pie is awesome. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm going to make that two bites. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You ever just got tired of chewing? I feel like I've been chewing like, like an hour or something. Oh, it's about to drop. Get that all in one bite. Mm.
my husband says the only reason why people watch to the end is to see if I'm going to lick that plate. <laughs> Should I or shouldn't I? Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. I guess I could go my blooper reel. Yeah, that could do that. Yeah, yeah, that could happen. Clean plate. <coughs> Seriously, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you so much for coming back every single Monday to hang out with me here at Adventurous Jerry Lynn. I love you, family. You guys are so awesome. Put in the comments below what are you cooking? What are you grilling? Tell me what you're trying. Something different. Put it in the comments, and uh, maybe I'll try your uh, your uh, menu or recipe. But again, I want to say thank you for my 50,000 views. I'm still trying to reach my my uh, my first milestone of 200 subscribers. I'm sitting at uh, 149 subscribers, so I need 51 more people. And I know a lot of you haven't subscribed yet. So go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. I can't do that right now. I'll wait. Anyway. So try these recipes. Not the recipes. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's wrong. Try starting your grill, your charcoal grill, with no lighter fluid and see how much you'll like the flavor, the taste. No lighter fluid. You'll love it. Thank you so much for coming back every single Monday. This is, <clears throat> this is Adventurous Jury Land. Now, you take care. We'll see you on the open road. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.